Hey everyone, welcome back to 10 Minute Kitchen. Today I want to show you a twist on a classic Chinese dish, chicken and corn soup, but using my Thai chicken dumplings by Golden Walk. All right, let's get cracking. First thing, I am going to cook my dumplings. So into a pan, and I love pan frying them. You can steam them, bake them, fry them, um, boil them even. But I think pan frying is really good because you get that nice crispy bottom, but then you steam it and it cooks all the inside. Perfect, last one goes in. So that's just gonna cook for a couple of minutes on each side and that's just to get that nice caramelization on each side and that slightly crispy crust. So I'll leave that for now. I'll move on to making the sweet corn soup. All right, so I'm gonna turn the heat up to about medium heat and I have two cups of chicken stock here, which I'm gonna add into the pot. So in that goes. And then to that, I'm going to add in a whole tin of cream corn. I, I just love the smell of corn. I know it's really weird, but cream corn just is so nostalgic for me. It's just one of those soups that I always order when I go to my local Chinese restaurant. Either that or the hot and spicy soup. Delicious. All right, so now I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, and it's basically Chinese cooking rice wine. And if you don't have that, you can use sherry as a substitute. Mix that in, and then a tablespoon of light soy sauce. Mix that through. All right, now I'm gonna flip the dumplings over because that's been cooking for two minutes on one side. Just like that. Perfect. Now a couple more minutes, and then we're gonna add in the water so that it steams and cooks through. Now the next thing I'm gonna to add to my chicken and sweet corn soup is some minced garlic. So I've got a couple of cloves of garlic here which I've already pre-minced and chopped up really finely. So that goes in. And I have a knob of ginger. So I'm gonna grate about three centimeters of ginger and add that straight into the soup. So you think about Chinese flavors, you've always got ginger, garlic, shallots and spring onions. That's exactly what we have in this soup. In that goes, give it a stir. Now add in some water into my pan with the dumplings. So about a tablespoon and a half will be enough. And that's just gonna sizzle and steam on the inside. Pop the lid on and we're gonna come back to that in five minutes. Now in the meantime, I'm just gonna bring this up to a boil. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna season it a little bit at this stage. So a pinch of salt and a pinch of white pepper. Now I like to use white pepper because I find it a little bit more subtle than black pepper and it's used a lot in Chinese cooking. It's also very fragrant, it's got a beautiful smell to it but it's just that sort of like hint of spice but just very subtle stir that through and that's already coming up to boil so now I'm going to add in my corn flour so I've got a tablespoon of corn flour here and I'm gonna add in about a couple of tablespoons of water into this and corn flour is just a natural thickener so in a lot of Chinese cooking we use this to sort of thicken a sauce, for example. So um, you want to make it into a slurry and just mix that through just to get rid of any lumps. Make that into slurry and then in that goes into the soup. And you just want to stir that quickly so that it doesn't thicken up too quickly. Now you can already see it's starting to get thicker, the consistency is not as viscous. And that's exactly what you want. Now, this part is where I'm gonna crack an egg in, just one egg, beat that up. 
And this part is what you call creating ribbons. So into the sauce, like you have an egg chiffon sauce, and this is the same technique that we use when we're creating those sort of egg ribbons. So in that goes, and the heat is off, and what you do is just stir it through, and you just get ribbons of eggs. That looks perfect now. Quick taste. Mm, delicious. All right, heat off. And the dumplings are ready. It's been five minutes. And they are looking good. So, I pop the dumplings onto a side plate. And you can sort of go back and forth for more if you want. So, pile them on. Like that. Beautiful. And then the soup, I'm just going to add it into a bowl on the side. Look at that. I think the word I want to use to describe this is luscious. It just looks silky and creamy and it's just a bowl of comfort, to be honest. Mmm, smells good. Now, final touches, just need to garnish it. I've got some spring onions here, so right over the top in the middle. And a few drops of chilli oil, just for a bit of colour and some heat. That looks so beautiful. That, to me, looks like comfort in a bowl. And there you have it, my chicken and sweet corn soup but with a twist, so using my Thai chicken dumplings from Golden Walk.